All right, well, um, saw the little welding there. We're uh, and uh, we got this. It's too big to fit. You know, this is two and a half, and that's three inch. So I welded some little uh, spacers on there. And uh, so we're gonna, uh, I need to build a, a, a brake, sheet metal brake to build, to bend up some stuff that I'm working on uh, for the Mustang console. And I've always needed one, wanted one, and you know, putting metal in a vise and beating it over the hammer just never does get it. So I bought some heavy duty stuff here. Uh, I got some 3 8 inch, uh, three by three by three eighths angle iron there. And uh, you can see that's some some thick junk right there. You know, an eighth eighth inch short of being a half inch. And then I got some six inch wide channel here. Um, and uh, obviously this needs to be mounted to something stationary since it's so big and heavy uh, that you can put pressure on. And I don't really have anything in here like that. There's no, not one thing uh, in here that's heavy enough to support this. And you know, getting a lot of leverage on it for a bend on, on some thicker uh, sheet metal. So. Uh, the heaviest thing I have around is uh, this guy. I think it weighs about 6,000 pounds, so I um, thought why not just make it portable so I could take it apart quickly and stack it up, you know, with the engine hoist and everything back in that corner. Uh, so that's what we're doing. All right, we'll uh, keep making progress and uh, go from there. All right, it's Sunday morning, and uh, yeah, left this out in the rain last night and uh, got a little, little, uh, Russ going there on the fresh welds, and uh, not only that, Matt came home late, and you know, I mean, this is we do we do five years worth of work on a got to put a nice paint job on this thing, and uh, she's all sitting down in the rain. It'll be all right, not a problem. All right, um, so got the mount made for how we're gonna you know fix this thing. Did that yesterday, and uh, started on this. Uh, this is gonna be the main uh, support. Uh, or I guess backing stationary point of the uh, whole situation here and uh, I was gonna put three of these uh, one on each end to support the ends but uh, and I may end up doing that we'll see I bought enough stuff to do it that way but I'm gonna see how it works with just putting one in the center and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this set up and welded up now we've got it um, we've got it centered uh, you know from end to end and we've got it squared up in there and um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and weld it. So we'll keep moving forward and uh, bring you back as we make progress here. All right, I got the uh, amperage turned all the way up on this welder. It's a 200 amp welder. And I believe this base metal here is uh, close to 3 eighths. I don't know the exact thing, so it's pretty thick. And this is a uh, The square tubing is just an eighth wall, so it's not overly thick, but I'm gonna to try to blast a fusion uh, tack with no filler rod on the corners of this thing and uh, see how well, you know, it, uh, it works doing it that way. So, but I'd set the camera up close. Probably won't be able to see much about what's going on, but you'll get the idea. and stuff up. Alright, we'll put two more tacks on it and uh, 
get it finished up. It's nice to finally have a welder I can weld the thick stuff with and get decent penetration and all. I always use that little 110 uh, or you know 135 amp link in there and uh, man anything above you know an eighth of an inch and you're you're kind of got questionable penetration so um, all right well let's see if we can get it fitted up on there and uh, check it out all right well we get it all fitted up here and uh, the uh, you see you've got penetration on the back side there which is good uh, means we get a good strong weld and we get a bolt hole there and we got a 5 8 inch bolt with a pretty good fit in it. Right, I bought these little uh, hinges the other day I saw them at the uh, store that sells metal and um, they're three quarters of an inch and they're you know they seem to be fairly precision machined and uh, you know have a good uh, almost like it's a bearing or something in there it's got a really nice uh, fit to it so uh, this is what I've done I've notched out this corner here and got it clamped in place and I think it's pretty square and true to the world and um, so we're going to go ahead and get that tacked in there all right got it all welded up there and um, got some decent penetration this is 3 8 inch thick and I believe this thing is only rated to uh, gosh it might be 3 8 so I'm not sure uh, I know it's at least a quarter um, so uh, it's I put the tacks on there and it kept wanting to you know each time I put a tack on it and want to pull it uh, out of square and kept having to tap on it to get at least four good tacks inside and out and uh, so yeah it's a uh, I think it's there now now I just got to do the other side it took about an hour to cut all that out and get it fitted up and weld it so but this is the one where you don't want to rush it you know you want it to this is the main operation of it right here so hopefully this three quarters of an inch uh, piece is going to be enough to you know do all that I think it will be all right so we made up these plates um, I was gonna just solidly weld the uh, the actuator or whatever you want to call it um, you know and, and have have a piece welded to this of angle iron and then attach this you know to that and have it solidly welded but uh, that thing is like ridiculously heavy together uh, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's it's over 100 pounds, and um, you know it's too much to try to wrestle around, and you know I'd have to get some steel toe boots if I worked around it too much with it like that. Uh, so I'm going to weld a plate to this, and then have another plate that bolts on, and uh, so I can unbolt this and unbolt you know where this socket's in there. All right, well, we're uh, continuing to make some progress here and uh, got kind of a first mock-up of it. And you can see we made these plates that bolted on and used those, uh, oh, what do you call it? Those uh, hinges that uh, really a tight fit. And, um, and then here we used a piece of uh, chromoly race car roll cage tubing to make a handle for it. And uh, I got a jack handle that fits really a good tight fit over the end of that. So if I need some extra leverage on it, I can get it. But um, so uh, seems to operate really tight, you know, and really smooth, no deflection in it. And I think this uh, hinge setup was, you know, a better way to go than, um, you know, some of the other type. All right, we well, saw us uh, welding those aluminum spacers and that's what we're welding them for uh, is to you know create this little spring action here so that the uh, 
press part of the brake will be uh, raised up, you know, have a gap under it so you can slide metal up and under it easily without, you know, having to always lift it up because it's pretty dang heavy. I got to already get that in down. So, um, just uh, tighten this down on it. That's some thin, well, it's not real thin. It's, um, it's 080 or 090 uh, thick. It's uh, more than a 16th less than an eighth. So, you can see it tightening down on there. Get snug. Snug this one down. Alright, see how it works. Sorry about the shake the camera. Pretty clean down on it there. I got some eighth inch steel. You know, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if it's be too much or just what. We can give it a try. Didn't quite go far enough with it there. I've got a, a pretty tight gap right there, so uh, not quite enough room to. Tighten it up tight. You know, not exactly a crisp end in that, but uh, not too bad for eighth inch steel. So, uh, all right, guys, kind of basic, uh, but serves the purpose, and uh, we'll wrap it up. I was just going to show this to you know, a lot of the, I don't know if you can see that one or not, kind of the uh, back lid a little bit. These welds are a little undercut, and just watching some videos on that, I should have came back and put two passes on that. Both really thick material, 3 8 and three quarters and uh, what I did on on that that was undercut also and on this one I just for grins I came back and ran a second pass on it with uh, silicon bronze and I don't know it kind of gives it a cool look so I'll probably go back and run another pass over that one just to make it match but maybe not